following on from my anti haul, something about doing a PR haul feels a little bit wrong. <laughs> there says Too Faced on it. What? I've pre-opened most, the majority, looked in some, but anyway, let's jump in it. So this red one here is from Wizard Publicity and there's a few items in here that are pretty exciting, let me tell you. So the first thing is something that I actually requested, if I reach down here. So a lot of you'll know, you probably won't be able to tell from today if you're new here, that I wear a lot of, the vast majority of my makeup is bright, bright eyeshadow looks and I've been really struggling with finding a micellar water that actually removes it entirely and one that can remove stains. So they sent me this tiny little mini, this is the SVR Physio Pure Cleansing Micellar Water Pure and Mild. I always try and read the French. So then they sent me the big one because I did very cheekily ask for it. And I have to tell you, this will cost you 15 pounds. I think it's on Look Fantastic or Feel Unique. This is the best micellar water I've ever used in the history of using makeup removers. This gets rid of like Jeffree Star, James Charles, pressed pigment, vegan formula, stain on the eyes makeup. Trust me, you should all go fully everywhere, you should all go and buy it. Then they were doing a send out for like summer essentials and they sent me the Alginist, very excited because I've never tried anything from this brand, hydrating serum in a mist. How fancy does that sound? You know it's fancy when it's got a sleeve and a box. So in here, oh my goodness it's even got more packaging. Look, this thing, you can go. So splash hydrating setting mist. Nice, let's try it out. Oh, that smells fancy. Mm. That is, kind of smells like um, sunscreen, but in a really fancy posh way. So some of you will know that the Kat Von D Locket setting powder is one of my favourites. I used to use this all the time. I guess I kind of stopped because of all the controversy, but also because I have uh, an addiction to powders. So I've only got the tiniest little amount in here left. But they sent me a mini, oh my goodness. This is the cutest thing I've ever seen in my life. Look at the size of this powder. You still get quite a lot in it. You get. 5.4 grams, I mean that's going to last me ages. I think I'm probably just going to pour this in the big pot. Um, so yeah, thank you, Kat Von D, uh, Wizard Publicity, I should say. This is amazing, it's lush, and I'm going to use it all the time. What is this? Oh, that's heavy. I don't know what it is. Ah, Lick and Lash Beauty. Um, they contacted me a while ago and asked if they could send me some things. Oh. These are dramatic. They are my cup of tea. So they sent me five sets of lashes. Very appreciated, I love lashes. What's in this? Oh, pigments. I need to go on their like website and look at the colors rather than opening up these unsee through bags because I don't want to. I've got a lot of pigments basically in my life. So I've got a bunch of pigments. Another one. Yeah, because I have so many, I really rarely keep pigments. Ooh, sugar coated highlighter. Love a highlighter. Like MAC packaging. Oh, wow. That is reflective. Ooh. It's got a very blue cast to it, but I will swatch it. Okay. Wow. That reminds me of the Nikki Tutorials Ofra one that I got and then gave to my friend within about 10 minutes because I can't wear that. I kept the pink one though. Um, but yeah, 
I don't know, something about blue highlights don't really suit me, but I love using them as eyeshadows, and I actually do quite often use them as eyeshadows. If you use the code WE LOVE YOU, as in the letter U, 10, you get 10% off. That's nice. And then there's something else in here. We've got the Spice Palette. I mean, I definitely don't need more eyeshadow palettes. Oh. Oh, that's quite nice though. Look at that colour scheme. It is definitely like white label makeup, which isn't something that I generally go for nowadays. Um, but those colours are very nice. It's kind of reminding me of the P. Louise palette actually, not in the way it looks. In the way it looks in terms of shade, not in the way it looks in terms of um, packaging, obviously, because the P. Louise one is so extra. And then we've got the Playful palette. And then we'll try. Oh, okay, I'm gonna keep this. Yeah, I'm gonna keep this. Hmm? Blue, green, pink, purple. Wow, that is nice. I shouldn't keep it, but I'm gonna. Let's swatch a couple of shades. That looks pretty promising, you know? Eh? 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 Make sure and let me know if you wanna see me test this palette, cause this tickles my very particular pickle when it comes to palettes, for sure. So, yeah, thank you, Lith and Lash Beauty. On the whole, that is Prince Special. Oh, we've actually got a couple from Colourpop. So some of you will know that I am a Colourpop ambassador, which means I get sent a box from them every month. And if you use the code, I'm looking it up on the wall, five meet me at Missa, you'll get $5 off your order over $20. Um, so they actually sent me two boxes this month. So let me show you what's in them without showing you my address. So it's on like every side of the box. The first one, has the four Kathleen Light blushes in it. They are in just the like individual pans that you need to put in a magnetic palette. And I did look and I can't find my spare magnetic palette. So that's a bit annoying. And then I'll just show you. The rest is all of the Kathleen Light's single eyeshadows from her Zodiac palette which is covered up by stuff, but I actually have the palette, so I know I won't be keeping any of these because they are just exactly what is in the palette. So that will go to a good home. And then the second one is a bit more my kind of cup of tea. Um, it is the Aha uh -huh Honey collection. So firstly, there's two pigments, a yellow and a gold. I have a million pigments, I don't need that, but still, I'm liking where we're going. Then I got brushes. This is the Catch Some Sun brush collection, and this. Yeah, I've never tried ColourPop brushes. I am excited to try out the quality of ColourPop brushes, because I've never wanted to buy them before, because I'm like, mm -hmm. And then we have the Here We Glow Again face bundle, which is really exciting. And in here is, Two of the Fourth Ray branded, that's like their sister company. Hold on, sorry, just had to go and burp. Um, the Turmeric Face Milk and the Glow Up Face Oil. So yeah, I don't know what a face milk is supposed to do, but I'm excited to try it. And also something that I need is the Lippy Scrub. So it's a huge pot of lip scrub and it doesn't actually smell of anything. So I did smell it. It doesn't smell of anything. thought it would smell of something, but as I've just said, it doesn't smell of anything. I can already tell this is going to be a long video. And then I've got the Aha Honey palette. Just feel like you need to say it in that cool way or it doesn't sound right. And this is the yellow, like, monochromatic palette. Matches my nails perfectly, not on purpose. Um, I've got the green and the pink. Don't have the blue, surprisingly, but it came out after Blue Blood, so I didn't really need it. So yeah, that's what that looks like. So yeah, that is the Aha Honey collection. Very exciting. Let's grab these. Oh, these are two of the same kind of thing, beauty boxes. 
So some of you will know the beauty group Mrs. Gloss and the Goss. It is like the biggest beauty group on Facebook, I'm pretty sure. I'm an admin in that group. Uh, kind of absent admin, but an admin nonetheless. And this is their month's beauty box. I don't know if you can still get this. If you can, I will leave the link down below because it is a bargain. So the first thing in it is an e.l.f. lip exfoliator. I've seen people use this for years and I've always wanted to try it. And then we have the Grow Gorgeous Back Into The Roots 10 Minute Scalp Stimulating Mask. Is this going to make my hair grow better? Oh, it's got caffeine and biotin in it. Ooh, that sounds nice. Really like Grow Gorgeous. It smells gorgeous. And then there's two products from Trilogy. This is the cleansing balm. It's like a little sample of the cleansing balm. I'm actually excited to try that because I've never tried a cleansing balm before. I know. And then the other is the Vitamin C Moisturising Lotion. Which is just a moisturiser. But I'm going to put it up here anyway. On my little moisturiser shelf. But the, 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 the creme de la creme, the piece de resistance in this box is... A full size tub of the Star Skin 7 in 1 Miracle Skin Mask Pads. So they look like this. You wipe them all over your neep when you got no makeup on. And Star Skin is a good brand. It's a good brand. And I'm going to put this on my little skincare shelf up there too. You put that in the shower, that in the shower, and that will go in my drawer. Oh, I've got two lip scrubs this month. The universe is definitely trying to tell me something because my lips are nasty. Then I got a DM on Instagram from a brand called Beguile Beauty Box and they wanted to send it to me and basically I would unbox it and tell you my thoughts. I've got some thoughts. I've got some thoughts. Um, first up, it is one, two, three, four, five high-end products, like super high-end and I think the price of the box is pretty respectable. I'll put it on the screen because I can't remember it off the top of my head. But one of the things in this box is definitely super super old we're talking like maybe three years old two and a half three years old so it makes me wonder are they just buying up like like expired stuff i don't know i need to kind of do more um inspection into into this but i'll show you the thing that's really old it's the urban decoy <laughs> urban decay Gwen Stefani lipstick. This is in Spiderweb and this definitely came out a really long time ago because I've got the palette and I got that years ago. I will say the colour is really nice. It's a dark red but I want to... doesn't smell right. I want to search like the batch code on one of those websites and see how old this is. Let me try and do that. Give me one moment. My suspicions are kind of confirmed. Well, they're definitely confirmed. I've downloaded the app Beauty Keeper and it says that this particular lipstick, this batch, was produced in June 2015, so four years ago, and it's best before June 2018. So this is definitely out of date. Um, would that really put me off using it? Probably oh, not that much. Um, anyway, the next thing in the box, I feel like I've been talking for ages, I haven't, I've just been trying to find an app that actually works. Then they've got the Dior um, Iconic Over Curl Waterproof Mascara. Um, so it's full size Dior Mascara, it feels very weighty. Should I check the batch on this as well? Um, this one isn't on that website so I can't see. Um, and then we have the RMK color lip gloss in 07 which kind of matches me ish it's just a deep red lip gloss then there is the suku nail polish in the shade 106 which is a really pretty you're probably not going to see it it's a purple it looks very dark to you see it's like a purple and then there is the Sugar Pill Liquid Lip Colour in the shade, I don't know, Crumpet, which is a brown, um, but some people like browns. So yeah, five full-size high-end products, but one is definitely out of date, so I don't know. Do with that information what you will, I guess. 
large one. Get the last of that tape off. Actually, I haven't opened this one. I have some self-control. Oh! Huh? I don't know if you can see that. Harvey next. So I think I know what this is. I got invited to a Huda Beauty event because they were launching Harvey Nichols like last month and I couldn't go for obvious reasons. So they did say they were gonna send me something and oh, first thing I see is edible. Great, we'll eat. The um, Huda Beauty Fender Blender Brush. I've already got this. Um, and then the Olivia number 18 Shorty Lashes. Such a nice box. Oh, I've always wanted one of these tins. Doesn't seem to have a shade name, but you basically get a little mini matte liquid lipstick, a full size lip pencil, and then a lip strobe as well. What shade is the pencil in? Bombshell. So that one will be bombshell as well, will it? Yeah, it's the bombshell set with the ritzy lip strobe. Stickers. I'm going to stick these to my laptop. I have so many beauty based stickers on my laptop and I'm going to add like puffy Huda Beauty ones and a pop socket that says Bay on it. I kind of need a new pop socket actually. There's more. Um, a lip strobe in Angelic. I've owned about seven of these in my life for some reason. I get sent them. I buy them. Friends give them to me and I'm like, oh, I've got it. Um, oh, this is nice. Heartbreaker. Liquid lipstick, liquid matte. I think I have this. If I don't, I'll keep it, but if I do, I won't. And then the Melted Matte Eyeshadow, definitely got this. This is in the shade Pump, Pump Latte and Drop Top. Um, I either decluttered this or I kept it, so I don't know. And then the last thing in here is something quite exciting. It is the Rose Gold Remastered Palette. I've got the Rose Gold Palette already though. I already have it and I actually like it, so it'll be stupid of me to keep this but thank you so much Harvey Nichols and the Harvey Nichols team that actually invite me to events because it makes me feel very special let me tell you that going to Harvey Nichols events not that I've actually been to one but I've been invited a few times now let's do this Too Faced one and this other small box have opened both of these but I haven't looked inside because I just don't like faffing around really opening stuff on camera, it just takes much longer. Um, so this one, oh no, I have opened this. That's a lie. So I was pretty excited when I got it. Look, look, Charlotte Tilbury. I know, I know, people, I know. In this was this palette. I'll open it very carefully because I don't really plan on keeping it. Um, so this is the Icon palette and I think it's actually a limited edition. Gotta say the packaging does feel quite a bit lighter than I would have expected for the price. I cannot open this. There we go, there's a little card and there's some pretty colours in it. I like that blue and that green on the top left but if you know me, you know I wouldn't really get much use out of a palette like this so to be honest i'm probably gonna be super cheeky because my family don't watch my videos probably just gonna keep that to the side and give it to my big sister for a christmas present and be like look how much money i spent on you don't you know how much i love you <laughs> but yeah thank you so much to the team at charlotte tilbury for sending that that was very nice to get in the post and then this two-faced one i'm so excited let's see what it is. We tried our best to choose the three shades. Oh! <laughs> Look! Oh my goodness. I'm pretty sure I was just saying that I was a powder fanatic. Look! Your favourite foundation now comes in powder form. <gasps> Got a brush and everything. I just spat everywhere. So this is the new-ish Born This Way powder. Um, is it powder foundation? Yeah, powder foundation. So I imagine this probably gives you some coverage. Look at the packaging. It's so beautiful. It's definitely. Oh, a puff. A wee puff. So they sent me C 
seashell, which is that first one. Porcelain. This, I mean, I don't know, I'm gonna show you them all. They all look the same, realistically. And also, shortbread, which looks so yellow for me, so I won't be able to use that one. But also, a brush. I've never had a Too Faced brush. It's a very dense brush. I could actually imagine using that for like contouring. And it's so nice. I'm just gonna put that straight in my brush pot. Wow. Too Faced. Wow. Thank you, Too Faced. Um, I think I'm having a heart attack. Let's be real. This isn't PR, but I thought I would show you it just anyway, because I'm doing a haul. Um, this, my family obviously went to France, my in-laws, and I couldn't go because my back, because everything has to be ruined for me, in 2019. And they bought me a few things, so they bought me this face palette. They got everything Sephora branded, because I did say, I was like, Sephora, I can't get Sephora branded stuff. So they got me Sephora branded stuff. They got me the Enchanted Sky palette, the... Feline Instinct Gold Edition, the Intense Coffee Collection, and then the Mixology um, palette. So, one, two, five palettes. Palette heavy, liking it. Thanks, mother in law. We both know you did it all. This is always a really exciting one to get, and like I said, pre opened it and did look inside. I've got no self control. You need to realise this. Every year, if you're on ABHPR list, they send you an email for a brow restock. So they're like, yeah, is there anything you're running out of? And I'm like, everything. Um, but no, I didn't. I was actually quite subdued this time. I did ask for two new dip brow pomades. I actually got one in blonde because I thought I could do lighter brows at the front. And then I got medium brown, which is my favourite shade. And then a medium brown dip brow powder because. I love the dip brow powder. I use it almost every day. And then in this baggie, I got a new pair of scissors because their scissors are incredible. Great for cutting like um, eyelashes up or hairs, anything that needs scissors. New stencils because I've actually never tried their stencils. And then this is one of my favorite things, a new set of slanted tweezers. Their tweezers are so good, so good. I love them. Um, also, I also asked for a new clear brow gel because mine's pretty much done and then this one is in chocolate, so a tinted brow gel and two brow wizards because you've got to love a brow wiz when you're in a rush. I got blonde, medium brown. Yeah, so I'm kind of trying to see if I can make blonde work. Oh, new sharpener. Do you know how good their sharpeners are? You don't even know. And then randomly, there's a new eye primer in here, which if you watch Friday's video, you'll have seen that I don't really like this, so that'll definitely work for someone else, but thank you, ABH, um, for all the bright stuff. Amazing. Thank you for restocking people. And then this one, I did post about this in my Instagram story, but I wanted to quickly show it on here, just because it blows my mind that Urban Decay sent me stuff. Um, Urban Decay sent me a bunch of stuff, so I'll just go through it very quickly because I have showed it off on my Instagram story. So I got the Naked Heat Petite or Petite Heat, a new all nighter, amazing. Um, the Glidon Eye Pencil and Viper, which is the most beautiful purple. Some heavy metal glitters, oh, a new brow blade. I've spoken about this, I'm just gonna put this straight in my brow drawer. Such a good brow product. Mm. The heavy metal glitter gels in two shades that I already own, so that means two for a giveaway. Um, so that's actually my ones, the other ones I've already put in my giveaway pile. And then this one in Saturday Stardust, so beautiful. What else? Ooh, lip gloss, all nighter setting powder, so excited to try this. Um, an eyeshadow primer, never tried for primer potion. Waterproof perversion. Oh, another heavy metal glitter and another eyeliner. So yeah, I died. I died um, when they sent me all this. So I'm just gonna like put it all in my collection and start using it. I can definitely do a full face urban decay. Now, at some point I actually need to do that because I've said for a while I was gonna do it and I haven't done it yet. Let's grab a few. And um, this one is from Makeup Obsession looks empty to me.
think I'm a bit late for Pride. Am I not? It's Pride, not June. It's, anyway, it's a Love is Love um, shadow palette. It was like four normal shadows and then four like pressed glitters. Um, and then this next one is from Sam Marcel, who randomly contacted me. Um, the only thing is I really struggle to touch their packaging because this is like ABH velvet packaging on crack. So this is like a really neutral eyeshadow palette. I'll try and put a picture up in the corner because I honestly struggle to touch the packaging. It's got just that horrible feeling. And then, oh, that's good. So there's two liquid lipsticks in there. Which is, oh no, there's three. No, there's a mascara and two liquid lipsticks. I don't know what colours they are. And then this doesn't have that packaging, thankfully. Uh, waterproof liquid eyeliner. I can always do with a new black eyeliner. It's honestly, it It gives me the absolute willies touching that packaging. I don't know what it is. And then this one is from Makeup Revolution, which I opened. Um, Cause I was, Hoping it would be the collab palette, but it wasn't. Just I want to try them on my channel. And um, this is the new. It's like dust on it. This is the new. Um, what's it called? Pigmented foil. What was it called? Foil Frenzy palette, which I actually did a video for them on their Instagram. And then the two um, glitter palettes. I've also got the glitter glue. I actually already own, but it must be because ah, spouts of glitter in them. And then a new waterproof Revolution mascara. So thank you so much, Makeup Revolution and Summer, Summer Cell and Makeup Obsession. We have a few. This, um, this one is very exciting. If I cover the, cover this. I actually could smell this, um, so I opened it. Got a bar of chocolate in it. This is, um. Keep it raw blueberry and something Ecuadorian chocolate. I won't eat that because I only like really basic like Cadbury's and stuff like that. But this is very exciting. Look, it is the Glam Glow Berry Glow Probiotic Recovery Mask. And when I tell you that this just smells like delicious yogurt, that's just what it smells like. Look at it. it even looks like yogurt. Mm! I think you just leave it on for a few minutes and then tissue it off. And then there's a little uh, Glam Glow mask brush in there as well. Thank you, Glam Glow. Very excited about that. Love Glam Glow so much. You know what? And um, who is this one from? Oh, Art Deco. What's in here then? It's all wrapped up in tissue paper. I was gonna say it feels exciting for me, but it's not. It's the Biface Makeup Remover. Nice. Always need backups. Um, like a twisty brush mascara and a waterproof maker. Clear mascara top coat to make it waterproof. I might put that on my lower lashes every day because I end up crying all the time because I'm a crybaby. Who is this from? Brand Nation. Brand Nation did sleep, I think, yes. Yeah. Look. A bag. Ooh, it's got their new. Was it Color Carnage Eye Divine Palette? Um, I've seen pictures of this online and it doesn't look like Color Carnage. It looks like two, yeah, it's like two colorful colors. Like, oh, the blue and the yellow. I guess the orange, but. I mean, it's colorful for sleek, I guess. I mean, that purple and green do look stunning. Yeah, I think I might actually try this. Although I, I'll admit, I would very much struggle to work that blue in cohesively, but we can try it and see what, see what it's like. I've got a kind of love-hate relationship with sleek eyeshadows. I do think they're pretty good, but I do think they're pretty boring. Do you know what I mean? Um, but there's definitely something else in here. It is Lip Laminates High Impact Lip Color. How have I not seen these? That is not the colour. There's like a super bright purple, a black, like a deep blue, like a raspberry colour and then like a really deep burgundy. That's the weirdest shade lineup. It's 
especially considering like we're in summer right now but it is a high is it gloss outrageous color to mix match and clash for a limited time only yeah it's a gloss um, and they're limited edition so I'll probably not keep them to be honest because they're limited edition and you know I ranted on about that in my eyeshadow palettes I regret buying video because I then can't use some of my channels it's a bit annoying let me show you quickly the only two things I've actually bought usually I've got a lot more in a haul but I bought this very excited about it. Not tried it yet, it's the Ciate Watermelon Burst Hydrating Primer and Lip Duo. Just the thought of smearing something that smells like watermelon on my face sounds so intriguing and delicious. So we're gonna try this in a first impression, see what it's like. And then, probably the most exciting thing I've bought in a while, which is weird to me, a new MAC lipstick. I was on ASOS for absolutely ages, like, right, I need the palest nude, the palest nude. I've got my palest nude in my Maybelline lipsticks, but I've wanted a high-end, really pale nude for a long time. So I chose the shade Best of Me, and it's one of the new ones. It's the Powder Kiss, which is a formula I haven't tried, but also I have not looked at this yet. I wanted to have my reaction on camera, see if I was disappointed, see if I was happy, because... If this isn't super pale, then I'm just gonna give it to my sister as well because I like super pale nudes and no other nude. I don't like medium nudes or dark nudes. I like super pale. So let's see. I'm gonna try and keep the box nice in case I do give it to her and then she's like, oh, why you bought me a present? Um, oh, it's matte. It's like NARS matte. Okay, you ready? Are you ready? Hmm. Huh? That smells incredible. It smells like sweeties. Um, okay, it looks super pale. I think that is gonna be super pale, right? I'm scared to swatch it in case it isn't super pale. But it does look really pale compared to like me. But I don't know, in person it doesn't look quite, let's just swatch it, okay? Let's swatch it. You might not even be able to see that. It's kind of blending in on my skin tone. Do you see it there? That's where I swatched it. See? I was just thinking, oh, I should put it on now, but I shouldn't. Because I'm wearing an orange that smells so nice. Yes, I'm pleased with that and I'm happy because it's like, what, our MAC lipsticks are 17 pounds? 17 pounds 50? 20 pounds for a lipstick? <sighs> okay, so that's the only two things I bought. You should be impressed. You know, we've only got two things left. This and that. So in here is, bag within a bag within a bag within a bag it's not it's the new milani stuff and i'm excited to try this the conceal and perfect foundation stick sorry if you can hear me tell me rumbling historically don't like foundation sticks but i'm excited to try it i picked 210 creamy nude this is from another pr company i can't remember the name of them so i asked for 210 creamy nude which let's, let's swatch it um, probably going to be a bit too yellow tone for me, but I'll still whack it on my face. Just wear a high neck top. And the new um, matching concealer. So I'm excited to try it. I don't love the foundation, like I'm not in love with it, but I do like it enough. So I am looking forward to trying that and I love trying new foundations and concealers. Like, I think you all, you all know that about me now. That leaves us with our last box. And this is Wet n Wild Crystal Cavern. Where, where do I recognize the name Crystal Cavern from? Ah, maybe I'm losing my mind. So in here is a limited edition Crystal Cavern collection. Eh, eh, eh. So I've got this limited edition, what is this? Aura Booster. It's a setting spray. I just broke it opening it. Oh, it smells nice though. That smells like, you know when you go on holiday to like a generic McDonald's hotel and you go down to their swimming pool? It doesn't smell like chlorine, but it smells like that. It's got a uh, lavender scent in it. 
And then we've got four. These are lip glosses, then they're not going anywhere near me, but if they're not, then I was thinking, are these? No, they're lip gloss. It's a lip gloss. I thought these were their glittery liquid eyeshadows. So four lip glosses. I very, very, very rarely wear lip gloss, so probably not for me. And then there's four limited edition palettes. So we've got this green one called Jade. She has like three green shadows in it. Rose Quartz. Clear Quartz. And I don't know the name of this, Amethyst. I did get sent a Wet n Wild collection a while ago, which had like rose, like a quad of rose shaped eyeshadows. And I kept a couple of them and I really did not like the quality. So I actually, well, I think they're in my declutter bin. So I don't really want to open and swatch these because I am worried that I won't like the quality personally. Plus, three shimmery eyeshadows does not an eyeshadow look make for me. Um, but maybe someone else would like these. I'm sure they would. Yeah. I mean, I like the little color stories. I think the purple ones were really beautiful and the green one and the pink one, to be honest. But would I use it? Probably not. So that is everything from my haul. Probably not that long when I go to edit it, but yeah, I feel like, like really, really spoiled and like a kid on Christmas and very kind of overwhelmed, to be honest. I'm just Melissa, why? I, it still baffles me that like glam glow send me things. Do you know what I mean? It's, what? So I'm just going to lay everything out that I'm not keeping and then I will show you what I'm not keeping. Just so you know, like, all of this doesn't just get whacked into my makeup drawers and then forgotten about. I tr trust me on that. So let me just go and decide and then I will show you. So this probably doesn't look like that much, but this is what I'm not keeping. This is pretty heavy. So every, every MUR palette because I already have the foils one at the front, I really like it. Um, not keeping that loved one, not keeping the Charles, not keeping the Sleek or the Lick and Lash, the Sleek one's limited edition anyway. Um, I'm not keeping the Huda, I've already got it. And then a bunch of everything else, basically. Um, so yeah, that's what I'm not keeping. I just don't like to be too hoardy now after I've done so many declutters first of all and also I'm becoming a lot more conscious about how much makeup I own and what actually brings me joy and happiness and things and it's it's not just having makeup for the sake of having makeup and I know some of you might be like oh it's easy for you to say because you've got a lot of makeup but it's just how I feel that's that's the that on that you know you ain't my real dad. Yeah, I love Robert. You're so okay. So yeah, thank you so much for watching. I hope you in some way enjoyed this video on this thy Sunday, Sunday, Sunday morning. I'm getting a little bit fidgety now. I've been here for so long and I need to take my pills, take my makeup off and go to bed, you know? So if you did enjoy this video, please do give it a big thumbs up because it really helps me out. Also leave me a comment down below because I do reply to all of my comments and subscribe because it's a polite thing to do. And yeah, thank you again for watching and thank you to my Patreons. Your support is overwhelming and I don't take it for granted. And you're awesome, basically. You're just awesome. And um, hopefully by today, the randomly picked giveaway winner will have been chosen and I will have emailed you. If not, it's coming soon. And yeah, on that note, I'm gonna go to bed, watch Breaking Bad and Love Island is on soon.